Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next task, task number 33. In this task, uh, we it's a simple program to convert decimal number to a binary number. Okay. So to convert a decimal number to binary number, we uh, we will first see how to convert. So this is how you convert any decimal number to a binary number you keep dividing it by 2 right uh, let's say for example the user enters number 47 so what you do is you divide it by 2 okay and you write the uh, quotient over here that is 23 right and what is the remainder you write it over here okay so 1 is the remainder then uh, again you divide it by 2 and you get the quotient and the remainder you do it till at the end you get the quotient to be 0 okay so when you get the quotient to be 0 you find out what is the number that you get and read it from uh, in the reverse direction that is from bottom to top okay so your uh, number that is the binary number of 47 will be 101111 okay so that is how you convert your decimal to binary so once we know the logic to convert decimal to binary we can start programming it okay now to program it we first of all we need a variable to store the number right so uh, let us say uh, dec is the decimal value of the number or this is where we are going to store the uh, number that the user enters which is in decimal format right then we are going to convert it into binary right so this will be stored in binary then again uh, we are going to uh, get the uh, since we are going to divide uh, by with the uh, with two so we have to um, save the um, numbers uh, that is the quotient and the remainder right so let's say c o u t quotient is for quotient and remainder is for remainder okay so uh, we have declared four variables let's first tell the user what this program is about right so decimal to binary okay then we can get the input from the user what the number is going to be right so percentage d and percent dec okay see uh, we can tell just a hint to the user enter number okay and once that is done now we can start our logic okay now uh, since it is written we have to use while loop uh, we will be using while loop over here right so uh, for the while loop we will just start by typing the while loop we will just write the structure of the while loop now uh, here we have to write the stop condition right uh, when uh, when should the uh, while loop continue and when it should uh, exit the uh, loop right and this is the body of your loop right now inside the body of the loop what you are doing is you are actually uh, uh, dividing the number with 2 right so let's do one thing let's copy quotient uh, let's copy the number into quotient okay because we are going to use quotient again and again to divide right so let's divide uh, copy the number to quotient now we are going to divide uh, and take modulus of 2 right so both of the things we are going to do and let's do it one by one so first let us find out the remainder remainder is when we do modulus right so it is q u sorry q o u quotient mod 
2 right then uh, next we are going to find out what is quotient quotient is nothing but quotient divide by 2 okay so now we have done two things so we what's first we are finding out the remainder after doing a modulus uh, uh, after doing a division of two whatever is the remainder we are storing it in remd then uh, we are finding out the new quotient value okay uh, new quotient value will be nothing but uh, divide the original quotient value that is your number divide by two okay so whatever is the division by two that you will get it as the quotient okay so in the first iteration it will be 23 and in the next iteration it will be 11 5 2 1 so on okay so that is going to be the quotient okay so uh, we have the remainder right so remainder is actually the digit in the reverse order okay so that means you got the first remainder in the first iteration this is actually the last digit okay so that is very important to understand because we are going to read from bottom to top right so uh, to uh, to accompany that what we are going to do is we are going to use the concept of uh, forming the uh, we are going to convert this into instead of a binary number we are going to uh, space it with the help of a uh, power raised to 10 okay so basically when i say uh, i have a number called 1101 1, okay so when i say i have 1101 1, 1, it is actually equivalent to 1000 plus 100 plus 0 plus 1 okay and to to make it a uh, little bit further how it's how this is done you can see it is actually 1 into 10 raised to 10 raised to 3 plus then it is 1 into 10 raised to 2 plus 0 into 10 raised to 1 right and finally plus 1 into 10 raised to 0 okay so it is actually in this form right so whenever i say this is my number and when i want to show it in onto the screen even though this looks like a binary number uh, to show it onto the screen we will have to convert it into the decimal form okay so just to uh, it will look like a decimal uh, it will be stored as a decimal but it will look like a, a binary number okay so it will look like this but actually it is composed of these numbers okay so to form these this number we will have to use the 10 raised to power value right so we are going to use the help of math library for this okay so let's try to accomplish th that okay so let's say uh, we are going to uh, have the binary value right and binary value will start from zero right and i will keep adding the new values over here so binary value is nothing but addition of the remainder whatever is the remainder into the 10 raised to power right so 10 raised to uh, power i can write it like this and uh, now this should be the number of iteration that uh, have passed right so uh, that we have to keep a count of right so for that i will have another variable let's call it as count okay and let's say count we will start from zero okay so when it comes over here i will just say count okay 
so it will start from 0 so 10 raised to 0 will be my first that is because my last digits power of 10 will be 10 raised to 0 right then the second digit I have to increase the count by 1 okay so that's why whenever my loop com uh, one iteration completes i'm going to increment the count value by one okay so now what happens is whenever the loop runs for every digit the count value will be incremented right so this is uh, how it's going to work right so let's uh, let's take an uh, example and see how it will work okay okay so once we have this right so let's take this onto the board and i will explain you what's happening okay so i will copy this and add to the page okay okay so let's analyze this program so let's suppose the user enters dec okay uh, dec is equal to 15 okay so the number entered by the user is 15 okay so that uh, if you remember the program we are copying count into dec right so now the new value of quote, quote is uh, dec that means whatever is the user entered number okay so i have created this this, this table where i am going to find out whatever is the uh, uh iteration and what are the values of that particular iteration okay so let's say uh, this is the uh, iteration okay so this is the first iteration going on in the first iteration what is the value of quote okay then what is the value of remainder and what is the value of bin and count okay in the first iteration quote is actually uh, uh, before the first iteration let's start with zeroth iteration that means it has not yet uh, uh, started with the while loop right so quote is nothing but equal to decimal value 15 okay so dec so directly it is 15 right so remainder uh, nothing is there bin nothing is there and count value is currently zero okay so in the first iteration once it enters this loop so what is the changes that is going to happen okay so currently the value of uh, in the uh, before the iteration starts the current value is quote okay so once this particular statement executes okay so this statement executes so it is quote that is 15 mod 2 that is the remainder right so 15 mod 2 gives you 1 okay so i will give you i will uh, the remainder value will be now 1 okay so remainder value is 1 and next statement is quote divide by 2 okay so 15 divide by 2 will give you 7 right so that is my first step then bin is uh, okay so in the program we started bin with zero if you remember right i, I forgot to write that it is not uh, garbage it is actually bin started with zero okay so in the next step uh, in this particular step in the first iteration what is happening is bin is zero right initially bin is zero remainder currently in this iteration is one one into power of 10 raised to count is 0 right so count is 0 so 10 raised to 0 is 1 right so 1 into 1 is 1 so bin becomes 1 over here right and then after this iteration uh, after uh, before reaching this closing block the count value is incremented so now the count value becomes 1 okay so this was the uh, values at step uh, one right that is iteration one now let us see what happens in iteration two okay so when it comes to iteration two uh, uh, the first step is again division divided by uh, sorry modulus of two so seven this time the quote is uh, seven so seven mod two again remainder one right so if i divide i will get three right and then uh, the bin value will be uh, currently the 
values are bin currently is one right so one plus and the remainder is one in the current uh, iteration into 10 raised to 10 raised to the count value is one okay so 10 raised to one is 10 right so this becomes 10 10 into 1 that means 10 plus 1 that means this bin value becomes 11 right now uh, after this statement is done I will start do count plus plus so this becomes 2 okay so let's go to the third iteration in the third iteration the same thing continues in the third iteration uh, uh, right now my digit is uh, quote is 3 right so my quote is I will change the color okay so quote is 3 so 3 mod 2 uh, you will get the remainder as 1 right remainder as 1 and then over here if you divide 3 by 2 you will again get 1 only right and then uh, if you come over here your binary value currently is 11 right 11 plus remainder is 1 into 10 raised to 2 right so 10 raised to 2 is 100 so this complete value becomes 100 and now this value becomes bin value becomes 1 1 1 okay and then the count value increments to 3 okay so now in the fourth step fourth iteration uh, let me just clear this out in the fourth iteration whatever uh, quote value is right now one okay so one uh, modulus of two that uh, modulus of two will give you remainder of one right and when I divide one by two there is no sufficient number so the division will give you zero okay because one divided by two will give you zero so since this is zero that means uh, it just tells you that this is the step at which i should stop okay so this is the step so you should remember that this is my stop condition so quote whenever it is equal to zero i should uh, stop right okay so next i'm going to find out the uh, sorry once i have this i have to find out the binary value right so binary value currently is one 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 plus current remainder is 1 into 10 raised to 3 okay that is the count value so this will be 1000 so 1000 plus 111 okay so 1000 plus 111 gives you 1111 okay and the count value will reach to 4 okay and there will be no fifth iteration because this has reached zero so after this there will be no iteration so that means whatever is there in the binary will be your uh, final binary number okay so even though this looks uh, even though it is a decimal number but it is it looks like a binary number okay so let's uh, finish up the code with the help of this logic okay so I hope you have understood the logic that we uh, we are using in this program. So let's code this. Okay. So we have we have we have reached till here, and I have to already told you what what is the stop condition. Stop condition is when we are going to reach uh, zero, right? That means whenever it is not zero, whenever it is not zero, I have to do this loop okay and whenever it becomes zero i have to stop okay so always remember you uh, the condition that you put inside while loop should be the condition for which you want to continue the loop okay and not to break the loop right so whenever that condition fails the loop will automatically break okay so that means whenever this becomes uh, equal to zero this loop will break okay so now we have the by uh, finally we have the binary number over here right so the only step left is to simply print out the binary number so binary of uh, percentage d is percentage d okay so this is how i'm going to uh, 
show it to the user so binary of let's say uh, if a user enters 10 so by uh, uh, let's say user enters 11 so binary of 11 is whatever is the number that we have calculated okay so basically the first percentage d will be the original number that is dec right and the second percentage d will be the calculated binary value okay let's try to run this program so there is a few more corrections required but before that i will just show you what are those corrections okay so if i just put any number and press enter you can see the binary number of 15 is 1110 okay so this is uh, incorrect okay this is not the correct binary number it should have been 1111 okay since we we just seen uh, in the board that fifth, uh, binary uh, value of 15 is 1111 right so then what is going wrong okay the main reason why it is going wrong is always remember whenever uh, you are uh, using the power function okay so you have to remember two things first of all you should add the uh, library include the library math.h okay so um, okay so that's why this warning was there okay so once i do this and run it you can see that error uh, sorry that warning has gone but, but still you will not get the correct result okay just let me just show you you can see still my result is not correct okay now this is a very classic problem with uh, which is dependent on system to system okay now if you run this program in uh, in your computer it may give you the correct result okay so that completely depends from system to system and the reason is that whenever we do power the power uh, it is actually storing uh, it may store because uh, it is uh, in the form of double and it's not actually dealing with integers here right so it is dealing with power sorry it is uh, dealing the the data type with which it it's returning is double okay so uh, the problem with double is it it is it is having a high precision right so what it does it is from system to system it may store the value in the form of let's say uh, we all know the value of 10 raised to 0 is 1 right but it's not actually 1 in in the uh, in some compilers it may be stored as 0 0.9999999 something and in some compilers it may be stored as 1.000000 something okay so because it is a double so these two uh, options are there right and the problem is since here we are using integer remd is an integer right so this value will be converted to an integer okay and now if your system is storing it is it as 1.000 something then when you convert it to uh, integer that point after the decimal places everything will be removed and you will get one okay so that will give you the correct result but if your system is storing it as 0 0.9999 something uh, then in that case when you convert it to int only zero is left and that point 0.9 everything will be lost okay so that's why the first digit of your integer uh, sorry in of this binary number is getting a uh, getting an issue okay so always remember whenever you use power function and the base is 10 okay and your power is 0 okay that means 10 raised to 0 you should always do an additional step okay it's a small trick that that can be used to stall this so to solve this issue just add 0.5 okay now why to add 0.5 is let's suppose your system stores it as 0 0.9999999 and something okay so if you add 0 0.5 to this okay so this uh, sorry 0 0.5 to this it will become one point it will be equal to one point something okay one point uh, some value but when i convert that into integer 
so only one will be remaining okay now let's assume that your system is storing it in this form okay so if it is storing in this form still if you add 1.5 you will get again 1.5 something okay so when you get this again when you convert it to int you will still get one okay so that is uh, a small trick that you can use to whenever you are having a base of 10 okay so you should always add 0.5 and then convert it into int uh, okay so in our case you need not cast it to int because this term is integer so this will also be converted to integer okay let's try to run this now okay so let's add the number 15 and you can see you get the perfect result right so you can find the binary number for some other numbers also let's say we want binary number of 12 we get 1100 okay perfect so our results are here so very important you should uh, use this trick if you are using power with a base 10 okay so i hope you have understood this program we will see you in the next task